Hi, I'm Frances Peters. We're here at RS Sailing and I'm going to give you my top few tips on improving your sailing. Tip one, having a plan. Whether you're out on your own in a single hander or if you're sailing a double hander, then make sure you sit down just before you go out sailing and think of something that you particularly want to work on, on something you want to get from the day. Then when you come in off the water, talk about what you've learnt, what you've improved on and what you'd like to focus on next time. It just helps give you a little bit more structure to your sailing. It makes it more enjoyable and it means that you'll progress. Tip number two, communication. The biggest reason for mistakes that I hear about and that I've experienced when you're sailing with another person in a double-handed boat is communication. Always make sure that you talk about everything that you're doing, break down every manoeuvre and every process, and make sure that you know exactly who should be doing what at any given time. Decide whose job it is to communicate when it's going to happen and how it's going to happen. I always just tell people, just talk too much. You can never talk too much. And it, just will, it will just stop breakdowns of communication and stop mistakes from happening. So one of the things I'd do, especially when I'm new to sailing with someone, I would make sure that I sit on the shore first, break down every single maneuver, every single boat handling process, and just write down on a piece of paper exactly who will say what and what will happen as a result. So make sure that you've got the entire process, for example, of attack, who will call the preparation for the attack and what will happen at that point. So by doing this, it will make sure that everything you're doing is completely in sync with each other. And you'll find that when you've sailed together for a little bit longer, you won't need to do this anymore and it will all happen much more naturally and without as much communication. Tip three, staying safe. Always make sure when you're going out on your own that someone knows exactly where you are and how long you plan to be, especially if you're going out of sight from the land. It's a good idea to bring out either a mobile phone in a waterproof case or a radio so that if anything did happen, you could easily radio to shore and make sure you're safe and can get help easily. Tip four, etiquette on the water. If you're thinking about taking your boat out for racing and you're quite new to racing, one of the biggest things I hear people are worried about is people shouting at them on the water. So you might find that there's a lot of shouting and lots of action happening at particular pinch points on the race course where boats tend to come together. So for example, that might be at a mark rounding. It's important really not to be intimidated by what people are shouting, but just make sure you're aware and, and stay aware of the situation. A good tip to be able to deal with that is just always try and think 10 seconds ahead of where you are at any given time. If you can plan ahead, then you can prepare for what the situation might be, and then you can keep yourself clear and stay safe. 